The Pope has appointed a new Catholic bishop here in Rhode Island. The news from the Vatican now sets in motion a transitionary period for the Diocese of Providence when Bishop Thomas Tobin has served since 2005. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now live from the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence, where we learn more about the new bishop and what comes next. Alex? Well, the announcement was a surprise move as Bishop Thomas Tobin is still months away from the mandatory retirement age set in place by the Vatican, and there is still more to do before this becomes official. Peace be with you. A new face in the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence. 58 year old Bishop Richard Henning celebrated his first Mass alongside Bishop Thomas Tobin, who he is slated to succeed sometime next spring. I'm going to take a page from Pope Francis's call to be a listening church, and I, I certainly hope to learn uh, more about, not only about this state, but really the stories of its people. Henning is an auxiliary bishop from the Diocese of Rockville Center in New York, where local media reports say the Long Island Diocese filed for bankruptcy in 2020 after hundreds of sexual abuse cases were filed against it. Henning addressed the topic Wednesday. For the Diocese of Rockville Center, uh, the decision to uh, enter into Chapter 11 uh, was driven by the desire to uh, first be able to um, uh, have the resources to address survivors, but also to be able to continue the mission of the church in, in the circumstances in which the diocese found itself. In April, Tobin turns 75 when he is required to submit his resignation to the Vatican. With Henning already coming on as a coadjutor bishop in the coming months, Tobin says he believes it will be a quick transition. And I've already indicated in my preliminary correspondence with the Holy See that I hope that my um, retirement will be accepted in a timely manner. Now, on January 26, almost two months from now, is when Henning's transitionary role becomes official. I'm told there'll be a special mass here at the cathedral, when at that time, he'll receive an official letter of an appointment to become coadjutor at that time. And Alex, we also learned about the resignation of Auxiliary Bishop Robert Evans today. Yeah, Evans was appointed auxiliary bishop here in 2009, and he also faced that mandatory retirement age. We're told that he submitted his resignation to the Pope on his 75th birthday in September. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.